I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a British soldier from the Revolutionary War, a red coat. I take one finger in the center and I put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a slightly curved line up and over. Come back to the dot. We're going to draw a slightly curved line up and over. I come over here on the left-hand side, and I'm going to draw a straight line down, curve line up, straight line up, connect. Right here at the top, I'm going to mimic this line again. So I just draw a curved line over, up, connect. One more time on the left, I just draw a little curved line. I start over here on the left and I draw a straight line down, curved line over, straight line up, connect. Come on the left hand side and draw a curved line out. Curve line in on the left, jump over, curve line out, in on the right. Come back to the left, draw a straight line down. Come back to the right, draw a straight line down. Come back to the left and draw a curve line over and connect. I come over here on the left hand side and I draw a curve line down. Come on the right hand side and draw, curve line down, connect. Come back on the left. We're going to draw a wavy, wavy, wavy line down, connect on the left, come on the right, wavy, wavy, wavy line down, connect on the right. Come inside. We're going to draw one straight line on the left, one straight line on the right. Come back to the left. Let's put a dot on the left and a dot on the right. Make that a little bit bigger. Okay. In the center, straight diagonal down, curve line over, little curve line. All right. Now, come over here on this section on the left and we're going to draw a straight diagonal down on the left. Come on the right, straight diagonal down on the right. Come back to the left. We're going to draw a slightly straight line all the way down and out. Little straight line over. Come on the right hand side. We're going to draw a little straight line slightly down. Little straight line in. Come back to the left. We're going to draw a slightly straight line curve line up, over, connect. And now we're going to mimic it again coming down. Slightly curved line down, straight line, curve line over, connect. Now we're going to do the right. Come up to the right, we're going to draw a slightly straight line, curve line down, connect. Now we're going to draw it again. Slightly curve line down, out, and connect. On the left hand side, we're going to draw little straight lines, and everybody's going to have a different amount because we all draw differently. So you've got all these little straight lines going down. Then at the end, we're going to put a baby circle at the end of each straight line, all the way down. Okay? Now, on the right hand side, we're just going to draw little straight lines all the way down. Keep going, keep going. Okay, now we come over here on the left hand side. We're going to draw a straight line down, curve line over, straight line up, and leave it floating. Come on the right hand side, straight line down, curve line over, and connect. Okay, come up all the way here on the left hand side. We're going to draw a slightly curved line out, little curved line down. Slightly curved line in, connect. Come on the right hand side. We're going to draw a curved line down, come down a little bit below, curve line up, 
keep going and leave that floating. Now come over to this side, straight line up, slightly curved lined over, little straight line on the left, little straight line on the right, curve line down, connect, little curve line up, and now starting way at the top, as far as you can go, straight line down, slightly curve line over, connect. Come back over here on this side, let's draw a little straight line on the left, curve line on the bottom right here, and now we're going to add one, two, three, four straight lines, come on the right, one, two, three, four. You might have more, you might have less, it's up to you, because we all draw differently. Alright, now come all the way down here on the left, and we're going to draw a straight line down, curve line out in, straight line up, connect, and on the right hand side we're going to draw a straight line down, curve line out, straight line up, and connect. Okay, let's put a squiggle at the top, and let's put a little straight line right about there at the bottom. Come all the way down and we can add a little curve line at the bottom, up on the left, and a little curve line at the bottom, up on the right. Alright, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the most important part is coloring in that red coat. Now I'm not going to color it in very good, but all of this is all red. Now, I can only imagine how impressive it must have been to see row after row of these red coats coming at you in battle. But then on the other hand, it kind of shows you how goofy of an idea it was because you would definitely see them. They couldn't hide. But that was what the British did. They had these red coats for all of their soldiers. And I guess it was pretty impressive if you saw it. You gotta be careful around these buttons. Like I said, I'm not doing this as well as you will. And that is a lot of buttons. But you want all of this section to be red. Okay? Whoops. Sorry. Okay. Now, this section up here should be blue. And all of a sudden you go, wow, this looks like red, white, and blue. And it does, and it's interesting to go and look at the British flag because their colors are red, white, and blue. So this section of the hat is blue. Leave that stripe white. Okay. Now, if you have gray, this is our sword. You can color that in gray. Then all of the buttons should be yellow. If you have yellow, make all your buttons yellow or gold. And come up and make this a blonde because that's the color of hair. They could have been gingers too, but we want him to look different than his coat. So I made his hair yellow. And then I found face color. These are those multicultural crayons. They're really the only crayon I would invest in just because sometimes it really makes a difference on your faces. This is a hand. This is a hand. So I'm putting, uh, I think this is beige or tan or something. Just to give the guy a little bit of color. He's pretty white. Next, Make his pants tan, if you've got it. If you don't, you can do a light brown. But I wanted his boots to be a dark brown. So I got a different color dark brown to do in his boots. Now you can see they were pretty well outfitted compared to the col uh, col uh, colonies who didn't have uniforms that matched at all. And then, at the very bottom bottom, this little section you might just want to do black. That's the bottom of his boot. Bottom of his boot. You can draw a better sword, go for it. Okay, let's see what this guy looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my 
Revolutionary War red coat from England all ready to cause trouble in the colonies. Okay, bye-bye.